Vati Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 81st Venice International Film Festival. I'm glad to welcome Michael Keaton, Tim Burton, Jenna Ortega for Beetlejuice, Juice, Beetle Juice, the opening film here at the festival. Welcome, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, so first of all, I was also talking with your actresses and with this Beetlejuice uh, family, Bartonian community, and uh, I was um, telling them that I read that, you know, I was, when I, I thought about going back to an iconic film and the film that changed so much for, for, for the audience and not only for you and your career, uh, I, I wondered, uh, how many dabs you had, and, and then I read that you felt you had to still to connect to, to Lydia somehow, that yeah. there was something. Yeah, I think that was, that was because uh, Michael and I talked about it see, for many, many years, but we never had any real desire to do it because of what the first one was, it just seemed like it was, it was fine. And so, but after like 35 years and thinking about, like the Lydia character, and you think about yourself, like what happens to you in your life, you know? What kind of relationships do you have? You have kids, and what, what you know, like what kind of left turns does your life take? Because, you know, none of us stay the same as when, you know, you're a cool teenager, then you're kind of a screwed up adult. And so, you know, those, that kind of journey happens to everybody in some level. So, and then, so revisiting this family, which I was interested in, and then seeing that you, you know, uh, three generations of, of, of these women in this family. And that just became very interesting, it became very personal. It could use a lot of my own experience of what happened to me during all those kind of years. So it, it just became, which is what made it special, is like a very personal movie. And then working with you know Michael and, and Winona and Catherine again, it was very emotional for me. And then having Jenna, who I you know was very happy that she decided to do this because it's like, the movie is kind of, she's the sort of entrance into this world. She's the one, you know, she's the voice of reason. She's the one that's going like, what the hell is all, you know? So she really, and all the other cast members, were, the new ones just made it feel really special. And everybody contributed to their characters. Everybody improvised, everybody really, so it gave it an energy on the set, which was very, very special. Uh, I was thinking, we already felt that in the first film, but, now it's also, uh, we are certain that Bill Juice is a very romantic demon. <laughs> and, and, and very sexy. <laughs> and very sexy, yes. That was, he didn't get old. And suave. Days. And very suave. <laughs> No, but I love that that he totally, the film and, you know, he totally embraced this, you know, it's, it's sort of loyal in a way, in his being, you know, you mean he is loyal or, or? Loyal in a way that he's always there when yeah, you call right. him. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, that's true. He's always like a in stalker. A way, in a weird way, yeah, yeah. I love it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, he yeah, has a presence that you feel all the time, as uncomfortable as that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but how was it? I mean, I know it's a it was very fun. question, you know, but you know. It's I, don't mean, I don't mean to speak for him, but I, we, similarly, we, we've discussed this. You know, uh, you go through, you, you live your life and you think about what you do for a living and at some point you start to say, wait a minute, why did I even want to do what I do in the first place? Because that, that gets lost, you know? And, and, you, and, you, and you have to drop back. And, and that's kind of what he's talking about, you know? Yeah, yeah, to, to yeah, me. Yeah, to, you, you got a long road ahead of you. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> you know, not, not for Jenna so much, but that when Tim was talking earlier, I, I, we talked about this. Mm -hmm. You think, yeah, we've done all these things and they've been great, and we've had a, kind of a good time, and some is not so much fun. And then you say, wait a minute, why did I want to do this first place? And so the opportunity to yeah. say, I want to go back and, you know, make something that I used to like to make. You know, not that I, I, I like almost all the things I've done. But, you know, it's pure in that yeah. sense without being yeah. too... Uh, uh, yeah, but it's true. Like, you, you do question, like, whether it's your career or your relationships. Like, I look back and I'm like, why the hell did I get married? Or what the hell am I doing? Yeah. You know, what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. You know, and you, know, it, you, you can only question these things over time. You know, you can't do this when you're young because you don't know. But once you go through it, you kind of go like, wow, that was weird, you know? Yeah. And so it, life has a way of doing that to you, which is... Yeah, strange and beautiful at the same time. But this going back, I was telling Catherine and Winona that this morning I had, I found myself having this 
a big like silly smile watching yeah, yeah. Uh, and because in a way yes i reconnected to that that not Time. baby but you know adolescent that that watched the film and i felt that um, it was happening again that the, the strange and unusual uh people could be seen again and that's the secret of your that's the key to your cinema but in general to cinema uh, and uh, I felt that the film was also reminding us to uh, about life not yeah, only absolutely. about cinema I mean cinema in the screening yeah. room and all yeah. that but life stay connected to life well that's that's the thing I mean I that's why I feel so uh, blessed by having this cast because they projected that and you know they, I saw it on the set I see it in the thing and that's you know with all the craziness that's the heart of it and the root of it is about human being and about relationships and how we all deal with each other and so there's a very simple sort of message and thing with all the craziness that's that, that that's the most important thing Michael is nodding. I am because, I, I, you know, when I was first, people had asked me, I had seen an early version of it. Mm. It was finished, but it wasn't, wasn't finished. It was almost there. And, and I told people, uh, they said, well, how is it? And I, I couldn't, I said, I, it's so good uh, and, and better than the first, but, but I was surprised by the, uh, uh, you know, it has, it has a, a lot of heart, and I, I wasn't quite ready for that. So, you know, it has an emotional part of it that the, the first one may, maybe didn't have. Also, without being too, uh, without overplaying this, you know, it, it's, it seems like the perfect time to do it again for artistic reasons and all those things. But it, in the world, you, you, when I looked at it and it came out, I thought, it's kind of the perfect time uh, that the world kind of needs, you know, wild imagination, and you don't have to think too much. You get to feel something, and then you get to laugh. You know, it's very important right now. I think. Jenna, it's the perfect time to, you know, keep on. Also, the legacy of this film and what this film means also for this new generation, this new audience. From yeah, your I, I definitely agree. I mean, Michael kind of touched on it. I feel like we're kind of getting. Um, older generations right at the sweet spot because yeah. it was a, 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 such a, you know, uh, transformative or inspirational time in their lives. And then for young people who just have no clue uh, about this world or who Beetlejuice is or have never been exposed to Lydia, I think it's really, really special because we're just not really seeing things like this in movies nowadays down to, you know, the practical effects. You know, usually you act with a tennis ball and pretend it's, you know, a <laughs> dragon yeah. or, you know, something crazy where it's like, here we were able to see everything. You know, there's really gut spilling out on the floor. There's, you know, really what? blood spraying everywhere. So, you know, you have so much more to work with, but it's also really wonderful working with these puppets and things because uh, there's these imperfections and, and because it's a tangible thing, when you film it on screen, it's like, um, you, you can see how imperfect it is, and that, I think that's what we we need. I think people are used to watching movies and almost zoning out because there's so much CGI and this and that. So I think for young people who have been seeing these computer screens, it'll be really, really, um, I think, important to them just to just to see something that was really man-made and and visual and you know kind of has that cheeky little wink at the camera. So thank you so much, thank you. Michael Keaton, Tim Burton, Jan Ortega, thank for you. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and for everything, basically. Thank you. for. Uh, and uh, this is the 81st Venice International Film Festival. I'm Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Inside. Thanks very much. Grazie. Thank you so much. Grazie.